Yeah, you've made some excellent points. We've got those flood warnings in effect for a huge chunk of our area. Now, what you need to know what these mean is that pretty much no matter where you're headed, there's at least going to be some standing water. There have been some washouts of roads, especially in northern New York. We're getting plenty of reports of that. Wouldn't be surprised if some of those show up in parts of Vermont as well. Just an absolute mess. That rain really, really uh, messed us up this morning for the morning drive. So flood warnings, take those seriously. We cannot urge you more. You can hear it from us all morning to please be cautious. And I would just leave early this morning, plenty early, because you're going to find many detours on your way out the door with all those road closures. The good news is that those showers are tapering off, maybe light at best. Uh, you're going to find, though, what's left in their wake is the flooding issue. So now these little blue icons that you see speckled across parts of northwestern Vermont and into northern New York, these are actually the flooding reports that we've seen. So there's tons of them and many of these have led to those road closures we're talking about. So not anything you're going to want to fool around with this morning. Please do not drive through any water that you don't know how deep it is and just be extra cautious. In addition to the flooding, we're also dealing with the wind. Now that wind is already starting to pick up. You're noticing the oranges and yellows over northern New York. Those are those wind gusts above 40 and 50 miles per hour. Not bad, but still quite windy in the Champlain Valley near 20, 30 miles per hour, and it's likely going to get worse. And we've got a cold front moving through the area, and as it does, it is going to prompt wind uh, increasing a little bit over the next couple of hours. So this is right around 8, 9 o'clock or so. That red there that you see is going to be those gusts over 50 miles per hour and up to 65 miles per hour. So know that these are likely going to get worse. And this is through the afternoon. Those wind gusts are still very strong. Those reds, again, a bad sign, especially when you factor in the fact that the earth is so wet uh, and that is going to be um, the earth is so wet and that's going to allow uh, the earth to loosen up any of those trees and roots and things like that, making them all the more sensitive. Temperatures still plenty warm, 53 in Burlington, 47 in Middlebury, but notice the blues to the west. That's that cooler air being filtered in by that westerly wind that's going to take over today, putting us in the 40s through the rest of the day. Add the breeze, it's going to be brisk, but at least some sunshine will come out for the second part of the day. Here that is, are those clouds breaking up, so some uh, at least a little bit of sunshine, but count on that wind still being the major theme for the afternoon. That's the thing you're going to notice the most, I think. Saturday wind is lightening up. We've got some sun coming back out. It is going to be a beautiful first half of the weekend if you don't mind a chill in the air. Same through the evening hours. Then on Sunday, maybe a few more clouds around. You're going to find some spot showers, but an overall pretty quiet end of your weekend and some good news after the mess that we're going through this morning. So again, major delays on your way out the door this morning. Factor those in and we've got that wind continuing so we could continue to see some power outages over the next couple of hours. And we'll have you guys updated on this throughout the rest of the morning and afternoon.